Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Uh, been a funny one this week, what with the uh, exploding beer bottle review. Uh, that was uh, an eye opener. And uh, little did I know that you're supposed to put the bottles in the fridge for three days before you open it. But I will try and do another review of that. So, um, wife was in Audi the other day. And uh, they've got their little beer festival thing that they did. You know, 10 or 12 beers that they put on. And uh, on their permanent display, there's some new beers. So, brewed by Sadler's, and it's definitely new, Jesse James um, American Style IPA. Not, don't know anything about it. 5% um, volume, and uh, here's where my eyes struggle. So, this clear straw yellow beer Boasts a rich aroma characterised by piney American variety hops. The taste is bitter with some sweet malts and is perfect for outlaws everywhere. So, I can read it. It's just this, the light in here. I don't want to put light on in the daytime because I've got nosy neighbours. So, brewed by Saddlers who make... Um, Mud City Stout, or yeah, I think it's that one. Um, and also, their stout, their crab is in Crabby Stout, and I think Crabby's IPA, I think their IPA is in that as well, blended together with ginger beer. So, we'll pour it open, see what it uh, looks like, and more importantly, what it tastes like. So, it's Friday, and tonight is my beer review now, and if I do five or six beer reviews, that'll be good. I've got a manky glass to apologise for the glass. I will have to go and get some clean glasses in a minute. I've just filled the dishwasher up, so. So. Exactly what it says on the tin. Pours a nice clear straw colour. Um, just slightly off white head. Little bit of carbonation, lacing. But that might be the glass. It all depends on the glass, you know. Uh, as I've said before in lots and lots of reviews, it's not always the beer, beer's fault. Because sometimes if it's got a widget, printed widget things on the bottom, it'll bubble up even more. I mean, if it's got the printed widget things on the bottom and it don't bubble at all, then you've got a flat beer. Or still cider, you know. Straight away, lovely citrus hoppy smell um, coming from it. A bit like a taste of summer, really. I mean, on a day like today, in the um, first week of October, and uh, it's absolutely glorious. You know, the weather's beautiful. Yeah, so lovely, lovely, like a smell of summer, that really. Nice citrus aroma. Let's have a taste. Oh, yeah. Nice citrus taste as well, with a bit like that, with them hops. Coming through. I'm not going to use my phone. I don't think there'll be any reviews on the internet anyway, because simply because, um, yeah, I've only got three percent. It's just going to go off as soon as I try and do anything. So yeah, really nice to drink. of a bitter aftertaste in it. A little bit of grapefruit. See if I can taste the pine because they said they said there was pine in it. That definitely is the taste I'm getting up a, a piney taste. And it's quite you know, a strong taste as well. So for people who don't like that, then mm, you might be in, you know, dark waters there. But yeah, yeah, pleasant beer. Good, good summer's beer. I mean, we are in autumn. A bit of a dark, 
aftertaste has definitely got a bit of a twang to it, you know. You definitely know you're drinking it. It's not too hoppy. It's not too citrusy. It's not a floral drink. It's, you know, more of a... Just a decent IPA, really. It is an IPA, isn't it? First beer of the afternoon. Yeah. American style IPA. So, 99 pence. Uh, part of the new... A uh, few additions to the uh, Audi range. So, while well, you're watching... Uh, Queen Bee Honeyed English Ale. So, I thought they already did an, a honeyed ale. So whether whether this is a, like a um, just a a fresh look to it, I don't know. I've definitely not seen this one before. Anyway, Dark Matters, uh, a coffee porter, and uh, made by Brains. So not seen that one before. So, always good to have new beers, you know, you, you uh, as any beer drinker, you know, you go to a beer festival, you want to try as many as you can before you're battered. And uh, if you're clever, you like, eat some food halfway through. Or go in, have a big dinner before you go into the beer festival. Never go drinking on an empty stomach because you'll last two, three pints and you're battered. Which we've all done over the years, I'm sure. So, yeah, nice colour. Still got a nice smell from the top of the glass. And a really pleasant tasting beer, really. Um, I do like a lot of the Saddler's range. They make some nice beers. Uh, Their stouts, Mud, I'm sure it's called Mud City Stout. I bet I'm wrong, but and that's a really nice stout, and the and where the blended crabbies with um, their stout, you know, crabbies have done that, um, absolutely beautiful. My only bugbear, it needs to be stronger. Four percent doesn't do it for me. I want to see six percent, seven percent. You know, you don't need to go into barley wine territory, but we do need to go stronger. Four percent. Bring out a reserve version, go stronger. So yeah, it tastes like a, it tastes, you know, you can tell it's a 5% instead of an, uh, anything else, you know, it tastes strong. So good taste, good looks, good flavour, um, some nice differences coming in, you know, in, in the taste. So out of five, hmm. I'm gonna give it a four point two. I thought it was a it was a it's a good addition to the to the Audi range. Uh, nice uh, bottle as well, you know. Yeah, and only ninety nine pence. So you can't fault it, can you, for that price? You know, it's worth a gamble at, at ninety nine pence. Oh, oh, that was nice. Right, that's number one. I'm going to go for a load tonight until until I get a bollocking or, or I just get too bladder that I can't talk anymore. Thanks for watching. See you soon.